With the retirement finances survey's indication, half of all Americans do not have adequate retirement savings to make ends meet in America. So where did they go to retire? Luckily, Mexico provides all the amenities any typical retiree would wish for. It has a cheap cost of living, a wonderful climate, world-class food, simple visas and access, and a good quality of life. That's why it has more North American retirees than any other nation in the world. And if you are also considering retirement abroad but don't know where to live in Mexico, then make sure to stick with the video. As in today's video, we are going to discuss the top 15 best places to retire comfortably in Mexico. So make sure to watch the video till the end, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you won't miss any future videos we upload. Without wasting any time, let's start with the number 15 best place. Número 15. Mexico City. The cost of living in Mexico City is comparatively inexpensive, particularly when weighed against the costs of living in other large cities throughout the globe. Mexico City offers a wide variety of attractions and activities. There is something for everyone, regardless of their interests in the arts, history, theater, live music, cuisine, sports, or nightlife. The city's public transportation system is excellent. It's inexpensive, efficient, and covers the majority of the city. You can get everything from street cuisine to five-star dining in Mexico City. In Mexico City, you'll find individuals from various walks of life and cultures. You will undoubtedly make acquaintances from a diverse variety of nations and backgrounds. Número 14. Guadalajara, Jalisco. Guadalajara in the Mexican state of Jalisco is often regarded as one of the most progressive areas in all of Latin America. There are 5 million people living in and around this region, making it the third largest metropolitan area in Mexico. Those interested in doing business might also find a welcoming environment there. Guadalajara has become an important financial and commercial hub in Mexico. It is now also a major center for technology along the southern border of the United States and Mexico. It's impossible to become bored here. There are several interesting historical landmarks, as well as numerous events that are both entertaining and visually appealing to attend throughout the year. Número 13. Oaxaca City. Oaxaca is one of the best places to retire in Mexico if you're on a low budget. One might retire here for as little as $600 to $800 per month. Typical one-bedroom apartments may be found for between $200 and $400 per month, including utilities. A tiny room in a residential area of the city may be rented for as little as $100 per month. For about a buck or two, you can eat well from a street vendor. You won't have to spend a lot on transportation since the city is small and easily navigated on foot. Oaxaca is one of the poorest states in Mexico, and that explains why prices there are so cheap. Last but not least, the cuisine in Oaxaca is one of the greatest aspects of life there. It's on par with the best in the world. Número 12. Puerto Escondido. Puerto Escondido is a tiny beach town in the state of Oaxaca on the Pacific coast. There wasn't even a settlement in this area until the 1930s. Previously, it was only a little harbor. Now the city has developed into Oaxaca's primary coastal tourism hub. The massive waves that break at Puerto Escondido have made it a popular destination for surfers. An annual surfing tournament takes place on Zicatela Beach. Those who like the company of pets will find Puerto Escondido to be an ideal retirement location. You may go birding in the neighboring lagoon. The beaches in this area are also nesting grounds for sea turtles. Lake de Manialtepec is also a great place to see bioluminescence in all its glory. Número 11. Durango City. Durango is a major city in Mexico with a good quality of life, a pleasant climate, and a long history of cultural sophistication. Several Western-themed Hollywood films have been shot in and around the city, which is located in a valley high in Mexico's western Sierra Madre range and has a look and feel reminiscent of the American Old West. The city has well-maintained streets, a secure environment for residents, a vibrant central market, and European-style buildings. As tourists are in short supply, the locals can keep prices cheap and attract more permanent residents. 
Yet there is hardly any English speaking expat community there. So if you are thinking about making the move to Durango, it would be wise to begin studying the Spanish language immediately. Número 10. Morelia. Morelia has been a hidden gem for many years, but it has lately attracted the attention of a new wave of international tourists, as well as retirees from other countries. Morelia is now more accessible than ever thanks to direct flights from North America and a rapid motorway that reduces the drive to Mexico City to just over three hours. Mountains, lakes, woods, and the genuine confluence of indigenous and colonial Mexico are just some of the reasons to visit this region. The quality of its medical treatment is likewise exceptional. Plus, their low cost is a major plus. Not only can you find affordable medical care, but if you peruse the real estate ads, you'll realize that many homes are either retirement ready or can be purchased for a price that fits comfortably within most people's budgets. About $800 per month is needed to cover basic expenses in this city. Número 9. Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas is often referred to as Los Cabos. Stunning mountains, captivating oceans, and expansive deserts may all be found within this little city. You can find it in the Gulf of California, and it's a beautiful place that also offers some of the best scuba diving in the world. The beach lifestyle is the major lure, with several water sports and other activities available. Of course, you could always simply relax on the beach and swim in the refreshing Pacific. In a high-end tourist area like Cabo San Lucas, your retirement dollars may not go as far as they would in other regions of Mexico, but you can still live well. With a low crime rate and convenient, reasonably priced medical treatment, visitors to Cabo San Lucas need worry little about their safety or health. The monthly cost of living is around $2,000. San Miguel de Allende. It's hard to find a more picturesque city in Mexico than San Miguel de Allende. From its magnificent buildings to its teeming artistic community, everything about it is jaw-dropping. San Miguel de Allende is well recognized as a top retirement destination in Mexico. Reasons for the influx of North Americans include the region's generally moderate temperature, low crime rate, and proximity to large urban centers. Traveling distances to the state capital are only 60 miles, and to Mexico City, it's just 160 miles. Cobblestone streets and Spanish colonial architecture make San Miguel a pleasant place to stay. San Miguel de Allende is a popular tourist destination due to its pleasant year-round temperatures, diverse population, and affordable housing. Número 7. Mérida. Nearly one million people call this place on the semi-tropical Yucatan Peninsula home, although just around 10,000 are foreigners. With its plethora of stunning colonial architecture, Merida offers a seamless combination of the contemporary and the past. There are a plethora of first-rate entertainment options, including museums, art galleries, movie theaters, and great shopping. Merida International Airport, located to the south of the city, offers direct flights to major destinations in the United States and Canada. However, bear in mind that the city's demand for, or interest in learning, Spanish is stronger than in other regions of Mexico due to the comparatively small number of English-speaking expats living there. Número 6. Aijig. Many individuals find La Cachapala to be an appealing place to retire in Mexico. It also has the biggest number of retired expats in all of Mexico and is home to more than 20,000 foreigners. The lake itself is Mexico's biggest lake. Ajijic is the most popular expat community near Lake Chapala. There are many American BBQ places and almost every business sign is in English. If you want to be near the expat community but do not want to live in Ajijic, there are alternative locations to consider, such as Chapala. It boasts a nice beachfront with a boardwalk that you may wander along. There are various nearby restaurants. No matter where you live on Lake Chapala, you're going to come here for the markets and stores. Número 5. Cancún. Numerous foreigners find that the year-round warmth, stunning beaches, and low cost of living in Cancún make it an ideal area to settle. The resort town of Cancún is a fantastic vacation destination. Cost-effective housing in Cancún is available. Living near the ocean and learning about other cultures is a lot of fun. This way of life is inexpensive, but it offers a lot of benefits for the money. 
The precise amount will, of course, be determined by the location you ultimately choose, even though the cost of a condo with a beachfront location and ocean views will be more than that of one located inland. It may still be rather inexpensive when compared to the cost of similar property in North America or Europe. You can get quality medical treatment at a reasonable price, and it also has a major international airport, making travel a breeze. Numero 4. Tulum. Besides its beautiful beaches, this area is notable for its intact Mayan port city ruins. If you're looking for a peaceful place to retire in Mexico, look no further than Tulum. Expats from North America, Europe, Australia, and South America tend to settle in Tulum for the lower cost of living and higher quality of life. While Mexico is a great place to retire, this region is not one of the low-cost hotspots. Assuming your perspective, of course, the price of living in Tulum may be similar to, or even higher than, that in your native country. Additionally, you may need to go to the next city, which is 80 miles away, to get medical treatment. Número 3. Puerto Vallarta. With so many long-term foreign residents, it's a popular option for retirees who want a low-stress seaside lifestyle in Mexico. The coastal areas are naturally divided by geography, resulting in a variety of beach resorts with their own identities, ideal for golfers. Half a dozen beach golf courses may be found in close proximity to Puerto Vallarta, and more are accessible if you're willing to go. Returning home from Puerto Vallarta is simple thanks to the city's international airport, which offers direct flights to major cities in North America. Moreover, several cutting-edge hospitals that provide high-quality medical treatment at low costs can be found in this place. Número 2. Mazatlán. Mazatlán is a tourist city on Mexico's stunning Pacific coast. There are many neighborhoods to pick from in the region. There are laid-back retirement communities, expat neighborhoods, party districts, and tourist attractions. Rent for a two-bedroom apartment in a good neighborhood is between $500 and $800 per month. Mazatlan also has the advantage of not feeling as congested as other vacation towns. There are miles of gorgeous beaches to explore inside the municipal boundaries. If you dislike crowds, it is very simple to locate a quiet spot. You may also engage in your favorite activities, such as swimming, snorkeling, fishing, kayaking, sailing, scuba diving, and more. Golf courses, huge resorts, good restaurants, nightclubs, pubs, and other amenities are available. Mazatlan is also a popular destination for medical tourists from the United States and Canada. Excellent dentists, surgeons, and specialists may be found in the area's hospitals and clinics. Número uno. Playa del Carmen. Even if you're interested in retiring to the Mayan Riviera, you might find that city life appeals more. Consider retiring in Playa del Carmen, which has a wide variety of exciting activities to try out, as well as more tranquil neighborhoods in which to spend your golden years. Perhaps this is the solution you've been seeking. There are many expatriates from all over the globe living in the central part of Playa del Carmen, giving it a very international vibe. You may still go to the beach, play golf, and dine at some of the city's finest eateries without leaving town. However, with more ways to get away from the crowds at a popular tourist spot. In addition, retirees will find the cost of living to be quite low here. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.